Uh, Colin Baker from Back From The Futures here and we're looking at the top five phones this morning that are on the market. Good morning to you, Good Colin. Good morning, Al. OK, we're going to start with the Samsung Galaxy. I'm, I'm a little bit bleary-eyed, I'll be honest. Why? I haven't slept much. I've been playing with phones pretty much all day yesterday and all night last night. You night. need to get out more. You're probably right. <laughs> it's not the first time you said that, or anyone else for that matter. Uh, but Samsung then again, Galaxy. I could, I could still be dreaming. OK. Um, the Samsung... Well, I've been looking... I suppose phones are pretty much the most important gadget we have because we work, we rest, we play. Uh, we, you know, the, the gadgets of the moment really are, are the smartphones. Now, my iPhone 4 is very much a love of mine. And I've been looking for something to compete with it, to compete for the top spot. The Samsung Galaxy 2S, I think might be it. It's very similar in, in, in appearance. I mean, we, we're familiar with the large screen, the very simple intuitive user interface, in this case of Google Android. Now, very simply, this has actually got a bigger screen, pretty much the biggest screen on any smartphone, and yet it's still quite a lightweight little unit. I don't know if you can just feel the weight of it there. Yeah. It feels like it's missing a battery or something mm -hmm. that's so light. Um, you've got all the benefits and features of some of the other phones out there. You've got a decent 8 million pixel camera. You've got, very simply, uh, I suppose, an interface with an app store so you can download free apps. You've got the ability to just slide across into your news, your email. If I had any finance, it'd be in there. My Gmail comes straight up there. The nice thing about Google Android on this device is that I can, as soon as I turn it on, I just put in my Gmail address and it synchronizes everything with Gmail in the cloud. So we've heard about the cloud already. If I smash that or lose it, everything I have is automatically backed up on my Gmail. Okay. So a genius little device. Uh, a little 400, bit cheaper. Uh, 479 I'm, I'm to never buy. sure how to quote on these prices because they vary depending on the contract you go with. Yeah. These are available, in fact, from free on contract. But uh, I suppose... But if you want to just buy one like that, you're roughly prepaid. paying nearly 500 yeah, nearly for 500. it. They will tend to be about 20% cheaper than the iPhone. Now, OK, Sony Ericsson. Say, Sony Ericsson Xperia. If you're into that kind of functionality, a decent camera and the Google Android interface that we spoke spoke of there. But maybe you're a little bit fed up with phones actually getting larger. Someone said to me earlier, they're kind of getting bigger. This is the miniature version of what we've seen before. Now, it's not quite as Does it as have everything that it has screen. on it? It has all the functions. It's not quite as, obviously, the screen isn't as big. It's not quite as high definition. You mightn't find yourself watching a film on a screen that small. Mm. But you've still got the App Store, the Google Marketplace, the uh, the, the Google synchronization that I mentioned on the Galaxy 2S um, at a, a slightly cheaper price, in that case, of about it's 429. 429. OK. Now, the BlackBerry, is the BlackBerry mm. Still, it's sort of this is an interesting yeah, one. A lot of people had it. I, I got one and then just couldn't stop using it really. Well, I think, you know, in, in, in years and years ago, back in the annals of time, I mean, five years ago in mobile phone stakes, they were the email uh, mobile device yeah. of choice. I think people just did it for emails. Yeah, wasn't it? but do you know what? Actually, a friend of mine, uh, she's a very, very stylish girl, and she could have had an iPhone and she's into all the brands and labels. And she was, she, wanted nothing else but a BlackBerry. Young people are really going back to the BlackBerry these right. days. And I think it's to do with the fact that maybe people aren't quite as passionate about the touchscreen interface. Maybe they're looking to go they back like the, to physical yeah, touch buttons. Touching. There's something kind of, I don't know, no offence to the Germans, but a bit German about it. It's 100, very utilitarian. 149 euro. Exactly. The Samsung. Yeah, so a lot more reasonably priced as well. And still very much the robust uh, choice out there as well. Okay. You can kind of see that lasting after a drop down the stairs. Not that I'd try it. Samsung? And Samsung, this is sort of the, maybe the, 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 almost the kid's choice. This is the Samsung Chat. And as you can see, it looks a lot like the BlackBerry. Same idea, but the focus here is, obviously it's a, a mobile phone like all others, but it's designed to tie in with your Facebook account and your Twitter account and various chat programs that are out there as well. And obviously you've got a decent query keyboard on there. A lot of people say they can type an awful lot faster on those. On those well. So if you are chatting are, quickly yeah. as I one think I'm does, like that one. The touch screen you tend to 
loses a bit. Yeah, and also predicts the wrong word sometimes. Yeah. And, and that's fifty nine ninety nine. Now yeah, the so iPhone is it just as, is it just because it's the cool thing that everybody just wants the but iPhone? Do you know what I always thought about Apple? The, Apple copped years ago that we're not into the fact that that has a dual core processor or it has X amount of RAM or it has this kind of card reader on it because it's the way it makes you feel when you pick it up. How good does it make you look? You know all about this, Alan. I mean, it's all about the style, <laughs> the appeal of a device. And like we have this. some Ireland AM covers here as well. well this, this, man, this. this uh, Chris Judge chap, a very famed illustrator, has uh, drawn on, on, on these covers and personalised these covers for uh, an Ireland AM viewer out there, which leads me on to the point that we actually have. We Samsung have. gave us one of these Samsung, and I, I tell you, Samsung, you're not getting this back because I'm absolutely loving it. Um, the, the Samsung Galaxy 2S to give away to one lucky viewer. And what have they got to do? Wow, that's fantastic. Great prize this morning to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is text us throughout the morning with a limerick, a funny limerick about the presidential election. So basically, just text us in a funny, funny limerick about the presidential election. Text AM first, followed by your limerick to 53131. So get your thinking caps on, some little funny limerick about the presidential election. Get texted to AM first, followed by your limerick to 53131. And you could be walking away with one of those beautiful phones uh, by the end of the show. Nice prize. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. Colin, thank you.